Just switching um, matters back to this weekend, obviously you're um, linked heavily to both clubs given yeah. your, your excellent careers with QBR and Man City. Yeah. What are your thoughts ahead of this weekend's game? Good time to play City, a bit of a uh, soft ooh, underbelly at ooh, the moment, ooh, would that be fair? Ooh, ooh. Good analysis. QPR's my club. I don't make any secret of that. I, I, had, I had five great seasons at Man City, love the club, love the, everything about the club, the fans, it was brilliant. But QPR is my club because uh, when I joined the club, we were in the old third division. And when I left, uh, we'd been up to the first division. All the glory, 17, 18, 19,000 people winning trophies. And I played for England as a QPR player. So that's, QPR is my club. I want QPR to win on Saturday. I want QPR to beat Man City. Fundamentally, because I want QPR to stay in the Premier League. Mm -hmm. And uh, Man City have got so much money <laughs> that they can afford to change, change it all in January. They get, get a whole new 11 <coughs> players they want to. So, um, But analysing the game, don't have David Silva. David Silva is, is one of the best players in the world. Can create uh, goals from nothing. But you look at, you look at David Silva, who's not playing, and he, he's a big miss for them. Uh, Aguero is unstoppable on his day, so he'll be a handful for the two central defenders, if, if that's the way... Uh, the R's play. Um, Yaya Toure uh, is having an ordinary season by his standards, but he's still a brilliant, brilliant player. So I think in analysing the game, Ian, it's, it's more about can R's stop them from playing and then go on and nick a goal? Rather, I, I don't think we'll see a game where it's going to be up and down. I Where's think. their weaknesses in at the minute? I mean, well, we spoke well, off camera earlier. You know, yeah. In Vincent Company, have probably got the best ten half, <laughs> probably in the world. Yeah. But yeah. there, there are weaknesses within that side. Would that be fair to say at the minute? Or not um, necessarily weaknesses, but they're not performing to the, the very best of their ability. Yeah. Well put. Um, I would say that. Uh, I would say that that there they there are no weaknesses from a technical, and arguably a tactical point of view. I think they've got great, great players. They've got a great bench. But I tell you the one thing that might um, upset them a little bit. They get complacent. When they get, they get possession and they get so much possession and they knock it and they knock it and they knock it and they give it and they knock it and they, knock it and they, they don't score. Knock it and knock it and knock it. And they don't. Uh, but, then, but then they knock it and they do score. Mm. <laughs> so the only thing that, from my point of view, would be is complacency. If they're complacent, if they don't respect Rangers,